next. He's one of the most loved children's authors around and has written over 130 books, including War Horse, Private Peaceful and Kenzuki's Kingdom, with another one on the way called Tales from Shakespeare. Well, Michael Morpurgo joins me now. Thank you so much for joining me Hello, in the studio. Nina. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Um, first off, tell me about your new book, Tales of Shakespeare. Well, it, I wrote it during the pandemic when uh, writers had to just sit in their room and write because it was, it was that sound of time. I wrote it because when I was little, um, I used to queue up outside the theatre at Stratford-on-Avon where Shakespeare was born because my aunties used to give us tickets, providing we queued up early to get them cheap. I came from an acting family. My mum was an actor, my dad was an actor. It was all the way through the family. And so I was sort of born in a way to like plays and to like stories. And she gave me, this auntie, gave me a book called Lamb's Tales of Shakespeare, and which I read when I was very little, and it's the, just the stories of the plays. And the idea, I'm sure, in her heart, because she was also a teacher, was to get me to enjoy the stories, then I'd want to go to the theatre, mm -hmm. that you weren't going to Shakespeare because it was important and because you're studying it at school, it was because it was going to be interesting and fun. Yeah, and you enjoy it. And, and enjoy it. And so there I was, age six, seven, I don't know what it was, queuing up there to get my tickets, and I would go in and I would see Macbeth, or I'd see Hamlet, or I'd see Midsummer Night's Dream, and I knew in my head what I, something of what I was going to see, and therefore I was ready for the thing to be not just enjoyable, but seriously interesting as well. I was prepared, and that's what I hope these stories do. But the yeah. problem with the old stories is that they're now written in a pretty old sort of way, because it was written a long time ago, so I thought, rewrite them for the children today. Oh, brilliant. Well, I'm sure they'll really enjoy it. And lots of children have been getting in touch and sending in some Good. questions for you. So, first off, Rock Star Child says, their favourite book of yours is Long Way Home, and they want to know which of your book is your favourite. Well, they're all my favourites because they're all my babies, but just at the moment, um, Kensky's Kingdom, mm. uh, because they've just made a film of it, which is completely oh, wow. wonderful. They took 22 years to make this uh, animated, feature-length animated That's film. so long. With wonderful, wonderful animation and music and great actors and stuff. So I'm thrilled to bits with the film. Uh, I think it'll be out, I don't know, around Christmas or something like that. But so Kensky's Kingdom has mm. re-become my favourite. Your favourite again. Um, and just quickly, one of the most popular questions we had from, from lots of our viewers is what would be your top tip for young, inspiring authors? Read a lot, but also keep your eyes open and your ears open and most importantly, your heart open. Mm. Live an interesting life, meet people, go places. And once a day, write one line, just one line, hmm. about the most important thing that happened to you that day. Something oh. funny, something sad, something you've overheard on the bus, going to school or whatever. That's just write it down yeah. and it becomes this whole sort of litany of, of the world of your life. And ideas yeah. that you And got, from yeah. time to time, one will become the beginning of a little seed corner of a story. That's what I do anyway. 